Friday, the 12th of June, 2009. My name is Philip Snow, and I'm uh, continuing with an introduction to uh, why I believe that great changes are taking place in the world today, uh, what these changes are all about, and what we might expect over the next very few years. I mentioned in the uh, last, uh, uh, in fact, my first video, uh, that I am expecting a, a quantum leap in the evolution of consciousness. And what this means in simple terms is just a very, very great change in the way that we live. And the first response I had uh, to my first uh, introductory video was that surely evolution is a slow and gradual thing and not prone to abrupt change and also that one can't really talk about the evolution of consciousness. So, again, by way of laying down the groundwork, I'd just like to address this, because it is completely central to what I'm uh, talking about. And I'm going to use your own personal experience, your own understanding, your own um, perception, of uh, what's going on in the world and what has been going on in the world over the last, not just your lifetime, but recent time, to show that we are going through a period of accelerating change and that right now we're going through um, an exponentially accelerating process of change which will lead to a quantum leap, or this may actually be the quantum leap as we accelerate into it at the present time. And again, by way of introduction, I'd, I'd, I'd like to say that uh, I've been seeing this coming for a very long time. And I was thinking in the 1980s that if this happens, it's going to bring very great change in people's lives and it's going to be quite difficult to understand uh, unless there is some sort of a basic understanding that this change is happening and what it's likely to bring. And I wanted to uh, not just observe the process for my own uh, benefit, uh, but to provide the kind of uh, perspective that perhaps most people in their busy day-to-day -day lives don't uh, don't get the chance to develop. And my feeling is that the more understanding there is of the change, the more um, beneficial the change can be to us personally. And when I say that I will take your own personal experience, uh, I would ask you, uh, just for example, to look at the process of accelerating change over the last 250 years or so since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. And the historical record charts the acceleration of the development, particularly, for example, of technology, which we're all completely aware of. And perhaps most particularly the development of communication, where at the moment, for example, you're watching this video on the internet. Everyone around the world is increasingly able to gain access to the internet, which means gaining access to almost the whole of knowledge or to the whole of people around the world. You'll have seen the growth of social networking uh, sites on the internet like Facebook and Twitter and countless others. And it's almost as if everyone in the world is becoming connected and gaining access to all knowledge. And looking at the process which we've seen accelerating at an, at an incredible rate uh, over the last certainly 10 years, perhaps we could say 20, one might ask, well, what what's likely to happen over the next three or four years if the rate of acceleration is increasing at an exponential rate there will come a time and we might say within 
three or four years, which which puts this then firmly within the, the, the 2012 target date that many people are setting for this quantum leap. And what would happen then? What's this likely to bring? What kind of, for example, what kind of communications would we all have? Uh, could we imagine that everyone in the world will become web-enabled or will have mobile phones and can therefore, uh, theoretically at least, um, connect with everyone in the world? What's, what's the process? What is, what is it that's actually going on? And as communications with other people develop, and as access to all knowledge develops, which means a w awareness develops of what goes on in the world, for other people particularly. What's this going to do to our understanding of what our lives are all about? So that's, that's an example of how your own personal experience will confirm that there is a process of very great change going on. And it's actually amazed me that it's taken this long before people, for example, in their own social environments, will say, what's, what's going on in the world? What's, what's all this economic collapse uh, all about? Uh, are, we, are we safe? Uh, where is, is it all going to get back to normal? Uh, do the politicians know what they're doing? Um, does anyone know what they're doing? Uh, if they do know what they're doing, is it in our interests? And it's really amazed me that it's taken this long before people are even beginning to question whether our relatively well-ordered and reliable lives will carry on in the way they have been. And my understanding is that they, it won't. Our, our lives won't carry on in a normal way, uh, but will change uh, enormously uh, and increasingly so over this next uh, very few years. And so uh, we can look at the process that's going on and see it as a process of, particularly, of uh, raising awareness of what's going on everywhere around us and in the world. <laughs>